Hey everyone, welcome back to Most Amazing Top 10. I'm your host, Che Dorena. Audiobooks are great. You get all the benefits of reading, but you can be lazy, illiterate, and it kind of simulates when your parents would read you a bedtime story. If the person reading the book is good, they might even do a scary voice for the scary parts. But just like everything else in life, some things are too good to be true. Just when you thought you were being a productive multitasker by cleaning your house and listening to a good book, you find out that this thing is cursed and you're going to go bald. Well, I wanted to prevent all of you and getting wrapped up in some demonic curses, so I put together today's list of top 10 audiobooks that might be cursed. Remember, this list is might be cursed, so for any of you out there who want to go ahead and read these books, well, listen to these books, please let us know in the comments if you get cursed or not. Don't be greedy. Also, you guys know the rules. If you're watching this video, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and hit the little notification bell. Also, make sure you stick around until the end of the video because I'm going to be reading out comments from the top 10 scary occurrences that happened at 3 a.m. video. Also, make sure you follow Most Amazing Top 10 on Instagram and Facebook. It's a great way to get to know myself and the other hosts a little bit better. And without taking any longer, let's get into this list. At number 10, we have Catcher and the Rhyme. Okay, so first up on the list of cursed audiobooks, we have a book that many probably read in school. So I guess the good news is that a bunch of you are cursed, but you're cursed together, so you don't need to feel left out. The suspected curse on this page turner comes from the fact that both John Lennon's killer and the guy who tried to kill former President Ronald Reagan were caught while reading this book. Hmm. Does this book make you a psycho who wants to kill high profile people? If this is true, then the American school system has been building a league of celebrity killers for the past few decades. Or maybe this book doesn't make you crazy, but if you really like it, it means you are crazy. Make sure you check what your Tinder date's favorite books are before you go back home with them. At number 9 we got the Necronomicon. I hope I said that right. Some things in fiction pick up so much steam that they become real, like that documentary about real life superheroes, people who dress up as masked heroes, they have no powers and they just beat the hell out of criminals. It's actually quite beautiful. Well, one of those things is Necronomicon. It was a book that really only exists in the HP Lovecraft universe, but it got so popular that people decided to take what didn't exist and make it reality. You can now buy fan created versions of this book, some which come in the form of audiobook. If you don't know the Necronomicon. It's a book that is said to have the power to raise the dead. It's a very high level magic item for anyone who's planning a D&D campaign out there. There's all sorts of different spells in this book and all sorts of weird writing. If you listen to the audiobook version of a spell book, do your speakers or headphones just automatically cast a spell? Someone get out there and do that for me and let me know if a demon randomly appears in your room. Obviously this book is cursed and if you mess around with it, there's a good chance that you'll get visited from your dead cat you just buried. At number 8 we got Tomino's Hell. So next on our list, we actually have a nice little poem about a guy's whole family dying. It said that there's so much pain in this poem that if you read it out loud, you'll be cursed to a tragic fate. Luckily for you, someone has already read the whole thing on YouTube, so you don't need to worry about dying, baby. Someone already died for you. That's what I call taking one for the team. At number seven, we have the book of sacred magic of Aprilim the Mage. When you're growing up, no one tells you that there's just magical textbooks lying around. That you could be reading those instead of reading boring old math textbooks. Imagine if you spent your formative years learning how to cast chain lightning instead of learning long division. You would be way more popular at parties. This book of magic was written by a dude named Abraham. He believes that everyone has their own personal demon. I guess that's why I'm always tempted by porn and high fructose corn syrup. Well Abraham's book is made to help you control this little demon buddy. If you do this you can apparently complete great feats which I'm guessing means you can have pseudo superpowers or something like that. On the downside it said whoever owns a copy of this book will be haunted by spirits from the other side. This will bring you the worst luck you could ever imagine and will eventually kill you. So just let your demon run free man. Peace and love. Number 6. The Orphan Story Here's just a regular book that isn't made to summon ghouls or make your crush notice you through black magic. This book is just about a Spanish traveler who heads up to the old Spanish empire to seek fortune. Seems like a pretty straightforward plot that shouldn't have anything bad tied to it. So what makes this book cursed? Well up until 2018, every time this book was published, when it almost got finished, the person who was in charge of publishing it would die. Some people died in car accidents, some people just got sick out of nowhere and randomly kicked the bucket. So who knows why people were dying? Was it tied to the book or 
Was it just coincidence? At number five, we have the untitled grimoires. Now, this audiobook can't be found on Audible, but I did a little digging, and there are some audiobook versions online which may or may not be fake. This book was originally sold for thirteen thousand dollars. The seller warned the buyer that the book is hella cursed. There's even a warning at the beginning of the book that pretty much says if you don't know how to wield magic, you'll die from using this book. It's basically like how you need a driver's license to drive your car so you don't back over an old lady. At number four, we have the Satanic Bible. So you don't want to be a Christian anymore, but you still crave religion. God seems like a little bit of a square, so you want to hang out with his rebel, cooler, disowned angel Lucifer. Well, if this is something you're thinking about doing, then you could crush all the learnings of this new religion without flipping a page, because the entire audiobook version of his Bible is on YouTube. Perfect for Satan worshippers who just need to take a long car ride up to the cottage. Be careful though, it's said that some people who read this book are tormented by demonic ghosts at night, which can lead to insomnia. At number three, we have the Voynich Manuscript. From what I've researched about this book, I have no idea if the audiobook is real or not, but you can totally get it on Audible, so I'm guessing it's legit. The Voynich Manuscript is one of the most mysterious texts ever discovered. It's thought that it was written somewhere in the early 15th century, but no one knows where it comes from. On top of that, no one can read it. It's written in a completely unknown language. It's been stressing out code breakers for decades. It's the nut that they just can't seem to crack, like trying to convince your girlfriend to have that threesome. So this is why I don't know what this audiobook is. Is the text really translated into the book? Or is this just a $9 audiobook of what they think is supposed to be in the book? Are you allowed to do that? Like, could I just read some Chinese texts into a microphone and then hope it's right and then sell it on Audible for nine bucks? Well, regardless if this is real or not, some people believe that the book was written by aliens in an alien language. And if you decode it, it might bring the end of mankind, which sounds super dramatic. Number two, the Satanic Verses. Okay, so there's lots of layers as to why this book is cursed. First, it's said that reading this book will grab the devil's attention and he will start to torment you. Nothing like a little light reading that gets the Prince of Darkness to start pranking you to really ruin your weekend. On top of that, the author of the book, Salman Rushdie, has a fatwa on him for writing the book. A fatwa is basically a hit put on you by the Muslim community. The price on his head is three million dollars. Also, the fatwa doesn't affect him. It affects everyone associated with the book. Translators have been killed over this book. So if you're thinking of reading this book, remember someone might literally stab you in the back. Number one on the list is the Lesser Key of Solomon. We're going to wrap up this list with another thing that would be a high level Dungeons and Dragons item. I mean, this is end game type stuff. This book is super powerful. It's a book of demonology and basically a spell book. This book is packed full of crazy stuff to help you through life in the worst ways. It can teach you how to summon demons when you need that fourth person for squads. You can make magical items. It has instructions to make magical items like talismans and trinkets so you can look fashionable while also increasing your fireball by two points. There's also recipes for potions, so if your crush doesn't like you, then you can just dose them with a little love potion. Black magic can solve all your problems. The book with several other manuscripts that were put into one in the 17th century. And thanks to the beauty of technology, you can get it all packed in a nice little audiobook. The power to summon the devil himself in a little 14 kilobyte file. On the downside, it said that anyone who owns a copy of this book will be affected by the doom. I don't know exactly what the doom is, but it doesn't sound great. All right, guys, and now, as I promised, we're going to be reading some stuff from the top 10 scary occurrences that happen at 3 a.m. part 2 video. We're going into the comments section. The FBI is watching, wrote 3 a.m. blank. Nobody. Pigeons return to their headquarters to recharge. Thank you for reminding all of us that the birds aren't real. Stay woke, everybody. Christopher Elta Morano wrote Why would you stay up till 3 a.m.? Me using my phone. This is so honest as to why my sleep cycle is screwed up every morning and I wake up feeling like someone poured mouthwash in my brain. Rockstar featuring Foxy Gaming and more wrote, 
Slender Man was a Photoshop contest from 2009. There's the answer I was looking for. Thank you very much. Well, everyone, that is our list. Thank you all so much for tuning in. Please hit the comment section and let me know what you thought of this video. Also, you should comment because there's a chance I could read out this comment in a future video. Now that we're wrapping this whole thing up, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and hit the little notification bell. Also, you guys need to hit up the Instagram and Facebook pages of Most Amazing Top 10. There's so much more content over there for you guys. And until next time, I've been Chaderena, and I'm going to stick to pop-up books from now on.